Hi, uh, my name is Joshua, and I have INFJ preferences. I've never recorded an INFJ video before, but uh, I've been so inspired after seeing so many of the INFJ videos um, and feeling how they really resonate with me. Uh, so after seeing so many of those, I thought I'd give a shot and do my own. Um, this particular video, I'd like to talk about um, INFJs and loneliness, which I realize is a topic that crops up a lot. Um, specifically, feeling isolated and what are some of the factors that contribute to that feeling of isolation. Um, me personally, the past few weeks, I have felt very lonely and isolated, uh, even though, you know, at work I'm around a lot of people. Uh, I don't live alone, so even at home I'm around someone else. Um, I, I'm, I'm social, um, even though we're introverted as INFJs. We love being around people. I love being around people. I love being in social situations, um, sometimes not necessarily even uh, acting within those social situations, but kind of being on the periphery, observing them all, um, people watching, kind of uh, taking it all in, observing the people, how people interact with other people, the meanings behind everything. Um, I enjoy that sort of stuff. Um, what I feel like I have uh, been lacking lately in my relationships, interactions with other people, is real authenticity and real meaning, um, real purpose in my connections with others. Um, and that's, for me, that's what I feel like really makes um, any kind of relationship meaningful is is meaning is purpose. Um, uh, you know, at work, um, people are. It's a new job. I've only had it a few weeks, so I'm still getting to know people. There are so many people to get to know, but um, it's very different from what I use, I'm used to. In that, it's uh, very much type of work environment where everyone's kind of out for their own good, um, watching out for themselves. Um, uh, the place I worked at previously for three years was very much a community of people. Um, we all cared for each other. Um, we helped each other. Um, we had relationships with each other. It's not like this here at my new job. I'm a bartender, actually, at um, a very high-end, large hotel. Um, so, <laughs> interacting with all kinds of people. Um, but the work is hard, and it's quite honestly been very stressful for me. Um, I just moved back to my hometown, I guess about a little over a month ago. Um, uh, all my family lives here, so I haven't seen my family more often, but even with my family, um, <laughs> with my immediate family, I feel like they're going through a lot of issues right now. Whenever I'm at the household, um, immediately I sense all of the things that maybe they don't recognize. They haven't recognized it yet, but it's there. Um, my mom and my stepdad are now living with my stepdad's mother who is 80, 81, um, she's developing Alzheimer's, it's progressing pretty rapidly at this point. Um, it's gotten to the point where it's pretty hit or miss when I go over there and she recognizes me, knows who I am. Some, I've realized she pretends that she does um, sometimes, but it becomes obvious that she doesn't uh, as my visit progresses. Um, um, she's, she's a stubborn woman. I know this is hard for my family. This has been a major adjustment 
she previously lived in Mississippi. That's where she had lived her whole life. Um, but her husband passed away uh, about a year ago now, and um, you know it, she just can't take care of herself anymore. So the best thing to do is for uh, my mom and my stepdad to take her on in their own house, um, which is obviously very challenging for them. Um, her personality is very tough as it is, and it, it, it's only complicated by her Alzheimer's, her forgetfulness. Um, so I can tell my family's unhappy. They really don't know how to handle this situation. They don't know how to handle her. Evelyn is her name. They don't know how to handle Evelyn. Um, and it's sad to see that. Um, so I feel like they're going through so much that it's hard to have any sort of really resonant connection with them. Um, but that's probably a personal story that I should save for another time. Um, but as an INFJ, um, I feel it's very important to have, um, ideally, a small circle of friends to um, have regular uh, time with um, people who I can talk to. Um, about about anything, but here's one of the contradictions of being an INFJ, at least for me personally. Um, there is that very deep desire to be totally open, totally authentic, to have authentic, meaningful connections with others, yet at the same time, so often I hold myself back. Um, uh, and it's n I don't necessarily do this consciously, um, but I will let only parts of myself come out, different parts around different people, and it's very, very rare that I meet someone who I feel totally comfortable with. Um, there have been a few of those people, but uh, very rare. Um, so that's, that's one challenge, being an INFJ, a challenge I'm dealing with right now, is um, trying to allow myself to relax about who I am and um, open up more around other people. Intellectually, I understand that the only way <laughs> I'm going to make these connections I've been talking about with other people is if I open up and put forth the effort and energy into having those connections. Um, but, like I said, very choosy about who I open up to, um, especially when it comes to romantic interests. Um, it's ridiculous how picky I can be, how choosy I can be. Um, you know, I can meet someone and generally like them and enjoy their company, but there's always, um, not often, well, there's usually something that crops up almost immediately um, after meeting them, or it only takes a very little bit of time uh, to be around them before I realize what will prevent us from uh, working long term. Um, and it can be various things, it just depends on the person. It's hard to put in the words, I can't think of any specific examples, but um, it happens quite often. And even with friendships, you know, meeting other people, um, I can be very choosy and picky about who I want to open up to, you know. Um, it takes energy to develop a relationship with anybody, any kind of relationship. Um, and as an INFJ, I, I don't know what it is, me individually, um, I'm very 
choosy about who I do want to um, open up and connect with um, because if I sense that it's not going to work long term or if this person is not fully going to be able to understand me at the depth I would like to be understood um, then I won't I won't initiate the, the process um, maybe that's a self-fulfilling slash defeating prophecy um, just something I've noticed um, so there are many paradoxes um, of being an INFJ um, and these relate to I, I, I really think they do relate to the feeling of loneliness and isolation that crops up um, in a lot of INFJs out there um, we want to be understood we want to have uh, we want to be authentic um, yet <laughs> uh, it's very rare that we truly open up to other people um, that we, we truly show ourselves to other people um, so these are just some of my thoughts for now um, like I said this is my first video on this sort of topic I uh, wanted to do it for a while now so I thought I'd give it a shot um, let me know if if you're an INFJ and if you've had similar experiences if you want to share them please do or any kind of type um, whatever your take on being lonely is, um, maybe I'll make a second part to this video eventually. So, thanks for watching.